good morning. Welcome to Women Manifesto right here in the Seget constituency. And as the name implies, this particular show is dedicated to women leaders in different constituencies. Right here today, we have the parliamentary uh, candidates. She is uh, contesting, of course, on the ticket. She's an independent candidate, actually, yeah. contesting for the parliamentary position right here in the Seget constituency. Today, she is going to be interacting with us as to really what she wants to do for the constituency if she is given the nod. And so, let me give you a bit of history of this constituency. And the Sege constituency is located in the Ada West District, right here in the Greater Accra region. It is, let, let's talk about a bit of the electoral history of this constituency. And this constituency has been a stronghold of the National Democratic Congress since 2004. And if you look at the pathing of voting, um, the NDC has won with over 51% of votes since 2004 throughout to 2020. And that has been the electoral pathing for them. Uh, with, with regards to economic activities, the constituency is predominantly agricultural with major crops including cassava, maize, and rice. And fishing is also a significant economic activity along the coastal areas. With regards to education, Sege constituency has several basic schools as well as uh, senior high schools. Uh, however, there are issues with access to education, especially in the rural areas. Also with healthcare, the constituency has a district hospital and some other hospitals or healthcare centers. Uh, but healthcare services are sometimes limited by inadequate infrastructure as well as personnel. With regards to cultural significance, the constituency is a home to the Seget traditional area, which is known for its rich cultural heritage as well as historic significance. And so, as I said earlier, I have with me um, a, a lady who is contesting as an independent candidate. She wants to win uh, the parliamentary elections right here in the constituency. Her name is Eunice Lassie. Now, let me give you a bit of her history. Now, Eunice contested uh, in the 2020 elections, parliamentary elections, and she contested on the ticket of the MPP then. Uh, she won or lost, sorry, she, wa she lost with uh, about 15,464 votes, which accounts for 47.1% of votes to the current parliamentary candidate for the Seget constituency. Um, he won with 17,256 votes, accounting for 52.5 percent of votes in the 2020 general election, also the parliamentary election right here in the constituency. But this year, she's decided to go independent. Of course, we'll be asking her why. And she is the only independent candidate in the constituency as of now. And she's contesting two other uh, parliamentary candidates or persons who want to win that parliamentary slot from the NDC as well as the ND, uh, MPP. Ines, good morning. Good morning. Hope you're doing well. By the grace of God, I'm fine. Great. Now, let me start with this. Uh, tell us, how did you enter this political field? Why did you want to become a politician? Thank you very much. I want to say good morning to your viewers, mm -hmm. your listeners, and in fact, my, my supporters. Um, Eunice Lassie uh, is a young lady who decided to contest as a woman organizer in Sege constituency. That's 2018. Along the line, something popped up, I couldn't go. So 2019, I contested the primaries, and I won. 2020, I went for the general elections, and I lost. By the end of the day, today, I am here again, and I'm going as an independent candidate. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, a round of applause for her. Say, let's say. I enjoy this. Say, let's say. Okay, so you are deciding to go on the ticket of an independent candidate. You are no longer sure. uh, going on the ticket of the MPP. Yeah. If I should ask, why? That's a long story. Mm. Yes. Tell us. We want and to in politics, what I believe is, if you want to develop your constituency, I'm a native of Ada. 
from Goy. And I see my constituency to be left out. And if you want to represent the people in parliament, you have to know what you stand for. So when I contested the primaries, and you know, this is politics. The Buga Buga happened, I decided to just go my way mm. and contest as independent candidate. <laughs> for the sake of Sege constituency, for the sake of development, for the sake of transparency, I just want to come as MP and serve my people. Right, right, right. Say, say. La citrine. Say, say. La citrine. So just so you know, Women uh, Manifesto is being supported by uh, Star Foundation Ghana, and they're supporting this particular show. And so we're going to be asking her more questions about really what she wants to do in this constituency. Uh, Eunice, if you can tell me, if you can identify really what are the things you've observed in this constituency that you see as a challenge and what to address in case you're given the nod. Thank you very much. When you come to my constituency, we have farmers. We have salt miners. We have um, fishermen or fisher folks. The women, we have fishmongers. And we have petty traders. We have Okada riders. We even have drivers. They have so many problems. Our education sector is very bad. Agriculture sector is very bad. Our roads are bad. Uh, portable drinking water is a problem. If I'm to talk about what we are lacking in Sege constituency, my dear, we will not finish. I'm telling you. So, for the sake of the development, or our development, I'm not here to gamble with the seat, or the development of the people. So I'm here because of my people. I decided to contest as independent because I think we have been left out. We are part of Greater Accra, and we are the smallest constituency in Greater Accra. But in terms of development, we are out. You get to Aklabanya, the coastal belt, from Lolonya, from Kablevu to Wekumagbe. When the sea is destroying these communities, you'll be sad for us. For instance, when you go to Ada, that's Ada East, they've started a sea defense. They jumped Sege constituency, and they started in Ningo Pram Pram. What have we done? So I am here to fight for my people. Are you, saying, are you saying that the NDC, who has been given the nod uh, since 2004, mm. all the way to 2020, has not done enough for the constituency? I can't say they've done enough. They've tried their best. But we are not all equal. We are not equal. We all have different capacity in development. Our mentality, the way we see things, our visions are so different. You might see a Mercedes Benz to be the best car for you. And I might see um, Toyota to be the best car. In terms of development, we are out. I'm not seeing anything in this constituency. <laughs> Eunice, your, your people are right behind you. Why should they trust you? Why should they give you the nod? Uh, thank you very much. If they are to be given the opportunity to speak, I know they will say so many things about Eunice Lassie, especially the Okada riders, our farmers, our students, our nurses. They will say so many things. They know what I can do for them. They know what I can do for them. And anytime I go out there to tell them, this is what I have for you. This is what I have for you. They, they trust me so much. And I know they are going to entrust this constituency into my care anytime I enter into parliament, that there will be a development. And at the end of my first term, I think I will not campaign. They will definitely campaign for me. Sure. They will campaign for her, she says. Uh, just to remind you, uh, the Women's Manifesto is being supported by Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office, FCDO. They are the people sponsoring this particular edition of Women's Manifesto and all other editions of Women's Manifesto. I have been speaking to Eunice Lassie. She is contesting as an independent candidate for the parliamentary seat right here in the Seget constituency. Will she be given the nod? We're yet to find out in the general elections by December 7, 2024. Now, Eunice, let's talk about what you intend to do. You've talked about the challenges with re regards to education. You've talked about um, issues of road infrastructure and many other things, healthcare as well. Let's start with education. What do you want to do for this constituency? 
looking at the education system in my constituency, to me, is very bad. So, you know, 2020, I organized so many programs for them, quiz competition, and the districts had attest to that, that the youth or the children, the children, the students, they have performed very well after the quiz. And I know we have to continue. We shouldn't be a nine-day wonder. And aside that, we need a district di uh, library for the student. So we push them to do spelling bee competition. You know, some of our schools are very bad. The community have to contribute money to even build for their own worlds. We don't have desks in the classrooms. Some teachers are not being paid. Teachers don't have a place to stay, even to teach them. So in a, a village like Tehe, you see some of the women contributing money for their own children to be teaching the younger ones in the classroom, which is very bad. So what do you intend to do? I want to make sure. I want to deliver them from that. I want to make sure we have good schools. I want to make sure that anything they lack in the school should be provided. You know the difference between the public school and the government school? Tell me. You don't know the difference between I, I the public understand. school I, I, I know, and the... I know, I want to know where you are coming from. Okay. Mm. When you get to the private school, especially with the infant, you see the seashore and stuff. The child is always thinking about the seashore. But the child has forgotten you enter into the class before you come and see the seashore. But the government school, nothing. So anytime they are going to school, they will intentionally fall silk. You know, it, it's bad. It's very, very bad. Our district, our schools are bad. We don't have enough teachers in some of the communities. So if you ask me, I want to make sure we have good schools. Uh, the classrooms need to be finished well. Our blackboards need to be changed to a marker whiteboard. You know, we need so much. We need to have a library for the student to learn. We need to have a very good, you can go to a school, they don't even have a computer lab. Mm. They teach computer. You tell the child there is a mouse, there is a keyboard. But I have not seen a keyboard before. What happens to us? Well, well, you've told me about the fact that you indeed want to alleviate the problems of sure. children who are going to school. But what is missing is the how. Uh, what, what regards to funding, how are you intending to do these things? How are you intending to provide uh, uh, the schools with ICT labs? How are you intending to build libraries for them? Where is the funding going to come from? How are you going to do this? I am going to push the Minister of Education that I need all this. And I know they can't do all for me, but I have to lobby within my path to do this for them. Because I am here to serve them. So whether hook or crook, I have to fend for my people. Say, let's say. Say, let's say. Me person muni namu who say, mo bet to me bisa questions. As and when, yeah, mama mic, namu bisa questions. Mic wo ho, mo ina me mo bet bisa dia mo person mo mo mani chwe chwe mo mama. Enti, yeah, mama mo kwa bisa mo questions. Ah, etre. Enti se siya. Let let's continue with our our, our questioning. Let, let's talk about issues of infrastructure. You've talked about the fact that the roads in the Sege constituency are very bad, as you say. What do you intend to do about that as well? I know my constituency very well. Looking at Bonnie Cope to Salome, I wish we have a tour from Bonnie Cope to Salome, from Akplabanya to Wokumagwe. My dear, if you are pregnant, then I'm sorry. I am sorry. You're unable to access health care as well because Sorry. of the road? The road is very bad. And it's a threat to their health. Even if you are sick and they are taking you to the hospital, you better be in the house and look for paracetamol. The road will kill you first before you get there. And what I know is um, the government is trying to bring machines, the drip to come and work and do the roads. And I think the people who are fronting that particular project, they are lazy. The time the machines were given to them, they should come out to tell us how many kilometers have they done so far? How many kilometers? Are you saying that the road is currently being constructed, but it has stalled? What, what we really were is the given problem? drip by the current government, and it was allocated to all the district. I want them to tell how many kilometers have they occupied since they had the machines. 
Unfortunately, we do not have the other side here because this is Women's Manifesto and you are the only woman who is contesting in this constituency. Probably if we had the Member of Parliament here, we would hear his side, but unfortunately we don't. And so we, let's continue with the questioning. Um, healthcare, there are also hospitals here, although there are hospitals, we're told that there are issues with hospital staff, they're low in number. What do you intend yeah. to do about that as well? Uh, we need to get bungalows for them, for the nurses. Sometimes when they are transferred into my constituency, they take another transfer and go back. Because so they, they do don't not have, have bungalows? No, no. The nurses are in town. They've rented their own apartments. When you get to the polyclinic, they don't even have a van to themselves. If they want to fill um, the cylinder for gas, uh, what is it, uh, oxygen, they have to put it in a public car, a public van, drop it at Tema, in the boot. So when we have emergency, you better be in the house, use fun, because they don't have anything to write home about. Say, let's say. Say, let's say. So are you saying that bungalows are the major solution to this problem of uh, yes. low staff? And you know, I thank God that we, we are lucky to have the Agenda 111 in our district. And I'm just praying that they finish that project as early as possible so we see what will come out from that. Because when you get to the polyclinic now, there are storeroom where they keep records. But there have been major issues with the Agenda 111 project with regards to whether or not they are being built. Some are being built, some have stalled. It's been a number of, I mean, months ever since that was brought. Do you really think that it's working? Do you really think they are really building that in, in this constituency? Is there, in fact, an Agenda 111 project in this constituency as sure, we speak? Sure, sure. They are still And where is it located? It's located in my constituency, right behind the polyclinic along the road. Is it yet to be completed? Has it started? Yet to be completed. Mm. I think it's about 70% gone. It's yet to be completed. I see. Yes. We'll hear from the people as well. Mm. Uh, but uh, with regards to health, we are staying on the issue of health because the last time we were here, we were told that teenage pregnancy mm. is a very critical issue in the Sega constituency. You're a woman, and you know what really the challenges that teenage pregnancy bring uh, with regards to education and others. What do you intend to do about that? Um, Eunice Lassen is having a program. I've drafted a program, praying very well, and hoping that the good people of Sege constituency will vote for me. And we are going to push that agenda because the youth, especially the ladies, need to be educated. You know, too much of public programs, wakey-pin, uh, DJ shows, uh, I don't know, artists performing here and there. You know, they are not concentrating on their books. And their mothers have spoken to them on several occasions. And I think they are sick and tired of hearing their mother's voices. So I think we have to come in as leaders, especially political leaders. And as a woman, I know how it feels when you are a lady and you are dropped out from school because you are pregnant. I don't, I don't encourage them to be lesbians. And I don't want them to start anything quick as they wanted. I want them to grow, to become big ladies in this district because if we are able to do it, they can also do it. So I have program with the students in the school and I know teenage pregnancy will be something that will be in our history. You, you say you are starting a program. I really wish you could give us details as to what really the program is about. Is it a foundation? It's all about, um, no, it's not a foundation. It's all about ladies or girls, young girls, young girls in knowledge, you have to know yourself. You have to know what you stand for. You have to know the implication when you get involved in this. Mm. So you know, sometimes the thing is fun. Before you realize you have an issue. Mm. So you have to conscientize them, tell them that if you go here, you have a problem. We, need, we have to do more programs for them. And I have so many programs. And when the time comes, I think I have to invite you <laughs> to come and listen to us. Yes. I, I understand. Say, listen. Say, say. People, now, uh, l let's talk about a bit of your policies. In health, what kind of policies are you intending to bring? In health, you know we have cheap compounds in some of the electoral areas. Some of the cheap compounds, you go there, you don't see any nurse. 
because we don't have trained nurses at the facility. You get it? Yeah. We don't have trained nurses at the facility. We have so many things we want to do for them. The free SHS, the uh, free uh, health insurance. The free health insurance. I want to use the health fund, the health fund given to the MPs. I'll use that one to renew the card for them and do free um, card for the aged and the children when it comes to health. Free cards? Yeah, the uh, health insurance card oh. for the aged and the young ones. Immediately you have the child, you need to get a free card for the child. Uh, we are seeing yeah. a number of, um, I mean, your policies uh, from your campaign manifesto mm -hmm. as an independent candidate right here. It's on the screen. Uh, we, we are seeing more on health. If you can elaborate, you say you provide NSS, free NSS subscription, uh, which you've already mentioned. You lobby for the construction of bus stops for patients and pedestrians in front of the polyclinic. Right, right, right. And she also says that she intends to construct hostel facilities to accommodate newly posted and uh, student nurses. I mean, you've mentioned that already. Sure. I'm also seeing some of your policies with regards to fishing and fishmongering. And you say that you will provide modern fish smoking ovens for the fishmongers. Sure. Tell us more about that. Yo, we have um, ovens that the fishmongers use. Because sometimes too much of smoke is bad to their health. Mm. And I want to introduce that in my constituency to save the women from their BP, their heart attacks and stuff, and with their eye problems. Yeah. It's all about the women. So. Say, let's say. Say, let's say. Say, let's say. I'm glad you've introduced the topic of um, the, the fishing industry in this constituency because we know that fishing is a predominant job right here in this constituency. Let's talk about issues of illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing because this is uh, something that is happening in most of the fishing communities. Now, with regards to illegal fishing, we know that a lot of uh, the fish fisher folk are using light to fish. Some of them use dynamite. Some of them use chemicals such as carbide and others. What are you doing, or what do you intend to do, sorry, uh, if you're given the nod as a parliamentary candidate to end issues of illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing? Thank you very much. My constituency, I know how my people, they behave. When we give them intensive training, I think they are going to understand why it's not good for them. So when the time comes for us to regulate that particular rules, I know they will understand. Because if it is harmful to us, I think they, they will listen to what the parliament, any law parliament passed concerning their fishing. So with the lighting and you don't worry. When we get there, we'll cross it. Because as I'm talking to you, the whole of last three months, they don't even have fuel for uh, fishing. And that is a problem. With the lighting, the government is talking about lighting. The lighting is not good. The lighting is this. Okay. Now, I don't want to use the lighting. I want to do a pure fishing, a genuine fishing. But I don't even have premise to go. So if I don't have premise, the day I will get some more uh, premise, then I have to combine the lighting and the non-lighting and everything to survive. So sometimes, because of what they go through, it pushes them to do things that is not supposed to be done. So if you ask me, Eunice Lassie, the good people of Sege constituency, which I know that they are law-abiding, if they are able to provide their premise for them, anything you say, they will listen to you. But you can't come. Give us re regulations. Whilst we are hungry, we'll find our way out. Yes. Say, listen. Say, listen. So are you saying that the people in the Sege constituency would only abide by the regulations set by government if premix fuel is provided. That is what I think. Yes. That is what I think. Mm. Because if you said I shouldn't go and use lighting for fishing, and I'm sitting back trying to obey what you said because you said it's harmful, and I can't even get one gallon of premix to go for fishing. Any time I'll get quarter gallon, and I see light, I'll go. That is, they are done for you. 
You provide what we want, and we also satisfy you in a very nice way. Yes. You provide what they want, and they satisfy you in a nice way. Yeah. That's according to uh, Eunice Lassie. She is intending to uh, contest as an independent candidate for the parliamentary slot right here in the Seget constituency. We are going to give you the chance to ask questions. So I'd like about five people, if you have questions to ask, kindly come to the front. The, the microphone is ready for you. The microphone is ready for you. Kindly come. There's a microphone here. There's a stand here. Please come in your numbers and ask the questions you want to ask. Eunice Lassie is here. She's going to answer. Any party you are from, whether the MPP, the NDC, or in support of Eunice Lassie, who's an independent candidate, please come to the front. Pacho, Mupesa Mubisa question Bia, Mumbra has a Sia, Yebejimu questions in. Mobetina microphone way in chain. Woofy party bay mo woofy MP Bufi and this year. Mowa question baby sa Pacha Mufa had Cecia and Amun Baby Sa Maya. And as we know, uh the women's manifesto is being supported by Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Foreign Commonwealth and Developmental Office. They are the sponsors for the Women's uh, Manifesto. We have one person here. You're, you're not ready for, you're not asking a question? You're, oh, yeah, I'm right. Really with her, so there is, okay. okay. I want her to win the independence so that we'll have an affable uh, member of parliament come 2025. Okay. So I'm solidly behind Honorable Eunice Lassie. Why, why are you, you behind her? Oh, you can see some of her manifesto agenda she has listed. I think she's what we want in Sege Constituent. She's a unifier, an affable, an eloquent woman who can help us to be in paradise. Come 2025. Thank you. Right. <laughs> Thank you very much. We'll take some more questions. I'm seeing someone by me. Uh, Pacho Efrause, or would you speak English? Dambe. Okay. T tell us your name and if you have a question for us, tell us. If I have a chami, Nagaji Rebecca, Ije Bonicope, if I can be Madame Uniskio, Pure Woyam and Nunna, where Chapino be, Le, Pure Kiva votes can handle, Le Wanga Shoka, Woyi, Wama votes can handle, a heck, I can vote can handle, and a Benenu Mobanga was to see your name, a baby was to see a Jan Lo. And your new G. Hey, Kaka, our votes, Hale. Le a ya, le ba. And my plan and my year wo, le eleka zobi egg bay. Et energy. Wak panape wa wa pia wa bonico peblo, eh he. Ka ka anga kape pio. Ake o. Wa bonico peblo le, ake a dra, koya parliament, ake a dra mumo. Says two, one and oko. Ke o ba bonico pele, ipope he cla. Eh, kake, 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 kake. Ne, ake di, eh, MP, MPP, MP, eh, ma badra, eh, badra ke jena koko pe, eh, ba wo, eh, te ke pwe nou, la o zu ke kwa va nou, ke ba ta, na koko pe, a stop, a si ke je po chumi, ke a ta bo ni koko pe, to flo po kla, a pe we, lo wa ke, ke e le ka, ke wa vote, han le, ne, eh, ma plene ma ye wo, le, eko ye, gbo ye, se ke wa mba pe wo kabene, nyu mo me bange wo pi yo, Thank you very much. And just for clarity, Rebecca here is asking about two things. She first talks about equality, gender equality. She's asking Eunice Lassie, who is a woman here, that if she's given the nod as parliamentary candidate, would she be able to ensure that there's gender equality? Would the woman in this constituency be given equal chances as the men in this constituency? She's also asking about issues of the road in Bonicope. She says that, they are, that that road is very bad. And she's asking what Eunice intends to do about that road if she's given the nod. She says there have been road constructions around this area or this district. And it never gets to the Sege constituency. Eunice, what do you intend to do? What's your answer to Rebecca? Okay. Auntie Rebecca. Ikwape matumunyonge adang bimilo. 
Kone Auntie Rebecca ne Ebam. Okay. Auntie Rebecca, ni ngala madenye yi omeji o. Ile ka sika ko bane ake wa yi. Ne achele ke Maslock. Unislasi ikeki ba. Maslock district officer is an in operation. Ne anyana pass ka ke hanye. Because ke ange media budget kane yo. Minister for Finance, a dear Sika, na aka one month lock me. So, I say, you are kicking a canoe, a belly match on. Nine a office go on a hill, Lonning a dejo, near for soccer army units, la sineki ba, near Yominanasica, Nanya Catuni, and I can angani come ha, la mania mahanya hum. Open on a jama question, no, eh, eh. Cataya hum, no casio, go a vote to Kahamu, O Makai Wallo, King and each winger, O Mammy. Ba omiso o manami. Seki ya peang maleli beo. Le ekwo obe minahu. Le unisla seke si yo imaba. Le nye manami, nye manaka inge ni chwe. Katayo keke wa vote ke hamwo. Wa boni ko pek bek beo. Le boni ko pek bek beo leo. Ami chen win biyonge no. Ni lebe nek bek beo enge ha. Li ke made nye ke si yo. Yes o lempe ji yo. Ma shi so amene government o keba. Eko ba bwa meke ji. After the elections. Ne manye. Ne ma ke drag bek beo meke hanyi. Loko bi mi leo. Ne ni nge la made nge hepe ji no ne. Yeah, to me. And, and Eunice, for the sake of our viewers, if you could kindly uh, translate what you just said in English. Okay. What I wanted to say, or what I said to her, the answer I gave her was that I know uh, the government helps people with mass lock. We have district mass lock offices. But in Sege, I've not seen any district mass lock office. And I want to make sure we have the district mass lock office so that anytime they need money, they can go there and they'll be supported. Aside that, she said, if we vote for you, don't forget us. And I am telling her that anytime I'm doing development, by all means, I'll be in your district, I'll be in your community, so you'll be seeing me more often. I'm not going to leave you people because I am here to serve you. And I said, after voting for you, I want you to look at our roads. And I'm telling them on authority that all my wish is that the drip machines, the drip given to this district, after elections, it should be for the district. It shouldn't be a nine day wonder that after elections they will come for the machine. But if we are to have these machines in the district, Unislastic can assure proper roads in this district. Yes. Well, you heard Eunice for, her, uh, for yourselves, uh, the answer she's given as regards to roads and also gender equality. We have more people to ask us questions. Madam, Pacho, over to me, a bizarre question. Ubebodi <laughs> I am a doing a drummy while Nico are throwing a massing a drummy and a throwing a memo. Le Kawaya, do you see to assemble a demo? I pay no coega, a cahawo. Levanaka, le Cayo, ne a Miklis Sanleo, a badassin, ke a Maya MP. I'm a co inga essay, support Levaka, no fair, no coyak, Beno, while I clang a day. Loy came up be a ke, Kawa Babu, I vote to her, lay a promet or name. A ma plan of my ever second dwell at what do I bear? A ball a pelo, let my pet do a low. Let Janice say, Sikayan and Wahiaka, I won't load no more. It was on McLean, no, why never know I pay. Like our chess say, Kawa was the baggy being about Sina Sia, Mini, let my penga hair. How one of a man has Sikane head joy, no, I catch you, I can't be my no low. You talk and on now, you talk and on now. You're more young and on now, near young and on now. No fair of what I know now. Long last, Mobadio, I can't hear what women from you, Mobadio. Yen Yaba Pedinoni. Thank you very much, Auntie Joyce. And for the sake of clarity, uh, Auntie Joyce is asking about three things. Uh, she says that she she's asking, she says the children are suffering. That was her last statement. The children are suffering. What is she going to do to help the market women make money to provide for their children? She's also asking about issues of robbery in the new markets that has been built for them here in the Sege constituency. She says that the market women are being robbed on several occasions. She wants to know what Eunice Lassie would do to help them uh, 
I mean, stop these robberies in the new market. She also talks about sanitation in the new market, that there's a lot of rubbish there. What is UNES going to do to make sure that the rubbish in the new market, they stop littering the area and the place is, is sanitized and is kept in a neat and clean manner? Eunice. Thank you very much. Auntie Joyce. Uh, Odeno ko kanye security. Yunis la si kemo no ipe MPO. Ike wa police commander nge hiyo. Ma pe kake. Ne yu to me nange wo nge police o miyo. Aha wo mo nge hiyo. Ne wa jenifan. Ke police eten. Po le nge wa market o guy de hanwo. Wale kan wa wo police eten ke fole jon. Ke no ko la wo manye ma bime. Se wa market o e fon si gun. Le ko si e po pe po o. E sa o market o mi. Lo ike ike police bi o miyo. Ma pe kake. Ne wa maya anka ane. Market or cake leverage on my fence, hello. Ne door, ne hina. Ne mono massa legion. All like a time and I can blow Juana. I shall my Juan one up, Angana. Lord, my Yakawam Jua, Wanyene, Wangana. Catae home, Ocasio, loan. Ya war loan interest on me, a yawi. No fiano go get system. Call a kekiba. Maslow call our government knowing interest or a cloveton. Lord, any mapeggio, Mabo Mode, Nanya Jua Yomu. I hang your sicker, you let one. You let you age, you are menana sika, ne akechuni. Okay, you told me benu to me. Kololike ki ba juni silasi, and that job so. Mahane factories ne bahio. Ne you told me, anya na employment, ne achuni. Eta kaku wa po leweja. Ebehi, why you talk me ne? Angoka dani chuni ne chapi anu chumi. Ima kwa nyepe, nyahane juni silasi maba, ne maba wanye, ne nye na nu chumi, ne nye chum. Lokwa bimi ole ne nike made nye peju nole. O chumi. Okay, thank you very much. She, she, she was talking about uh, the insecurity in the Sege market. And I said, if I'm being voted as the MP for Sege constituency, I am going to liaise with the police to get security men, proper policemen, at least three, to guide the market for us. And we can, our market is not that big. We can fence it for proper security. In terms of um, sanitation, uh, we're going to get big bands like Zoom Lion cans, the big ones, like three, into the market. So that they will be poor. They don't, they don't have any dustbins. They don't have any dustbins. The big dustbins, they don't have it. So anytime you also have your baller, you put it somewhere. The truck guys come to pick it up, and they take money from them. But at the end of the day, it shouldn't be so. They need to provide for a proper sanitation system for them. Because at the end of the day, they are paying. You come and give them tickets. By the end of the day, you don't do anything about their sanitation. It's very, when it rains, like the way it rains, you can go to my market. It's very bad. It's very, very bad. Yeah, she talk about loans. The interest rate is very high. That is why Unicela said, I'm going to lobby for the district mass lock office so that they'll be giving soft loans from the government so that they can work with. Yes, thank you very much. Say, let's say. Say, let's say. We have a number of people here who have questions for Eunice Lassie, who is uh, standing as a, an independent candidate trying to contest for the parliamentary seat right here in the Sege constituency. And so, Pasha, I'm going to ask you a question. What is your question? I'm going to ask you a question. 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 Because when I vote, it's been so many years. I put on the power we. Pure one deal. What better let no one, mom? Her family was so like back a poor. And your knee, what been you know, I know. Can you buy a bar like Papa? I've been you up, no one know. Low, I hear you. At any deal. Pia no chumi beko pia du son la ngadu ega mami lo ehe ika ke ba ma wa no chumi no ma chun lo e ri ani wa yo me ngola wa ji pia ngwa kon ngwa de pia wa ji ngola ma pe wa four cities four cities pia ka ma pe wa three cities lo be wa ba no chumi ko no ngola ehe ika ke ba ma wa no chumi no ma chun lo ko no wa ma nyi no ma fi ese no ma vote han le lo le e ri ani ji wa hospital na ngabo ni ko pe o ke o ya lo be he wa mi o amade ka ma ngwa chupa ambo no ya he she insurance e chu anyway pia wa best car wa ka insurance le ma chuni Thank you very much. Um, um, her question basically is about 
I mean, she raised a number of concerns. She talked about the fact that they have been voting in this constituency since 2004, yet she says that they have not seen any form of development. She's asking Eunice that what would she do differently if she's given the nod as the member of parliament for this particular constituency. She's talking about issues of unemployment, which she says is the reason why there are a lot of robberies in the area. She's talking about issues of education and healthcare, as well as insurance. We're going to get, we're going to get an answer from Eunice shortly, but let's take one more question before Eunice comes in. Pacho Bodina, Nebisa, our question. Ibabe <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, she's also asking questions. Uh, her, her last statement was about economic hardship. She says that things are very expensive on the market. And how is Unis going to help them, especially women, uh, to make sure that they're able to afford the things on the market? She also talked about issues of um, toilet facilities in the constituency. She said that currently there is only one toilet facility in the Sege constituency. Eunice, what are you going to do about this? As well as the other issues that were raised by Dorcas. Thank you very much. Maba wanye le ehe be nyenyo je. Le odeno kete o nyenyo ebe. Be komne bi o ile kanye nyenyo ebe. Mono mono ile kanye nyenyo ebe. Seko o ye begbo ma hiyo. O mana ka ange mwo ko chua na wo roba yumu yumu. Koko nge begbe o. E si si wo ke ma. Ne choka. First o ake pipe o nenge sugba. Pipe o i klowe. Kola o de time o nyenyo ebe. Pi o wa he ne mahi niyo. This tree to obomadi le wo pipe kenge sugba mi wo. I ma make sure ka kebene esunye hio wo ma gba ke ba ma fe ma mi e ja ka loko fali fali pe ma hi mi o ja nyen nyu o de no ke si o wa toilet o wa be toilet hu nga wa ma mu nyu no tun anu kwale ibale jo ta ho meeting le ma bi atumunyu ke unit la si ba i ma ya ka je wo ma o toilet o me ke ma ke wa na ten sita ha nyi po he ka nyi bo ma jo he nge ajuma ni kope lo bo ni kope o ke si o nyi health center nga le jon Kenya ya to perfect to pan. Kaka Agmahamu. Kaka demo ke health insurance or a two weni. Ima pe follow up. Kaya lejo. Nene he ne health insurance or a two only wing a jama particular center. A match on law maya no magbenya. Okay, see yo. New mome hiya nu to me. Wa lebele new mome angeha. Nu to me na hiya le e hiya foo. Ke yu ni slasiba. Ike yu to me mawanye. Security services om nyonye ne kone nye hu. Ke kopene so me banye mana nitu mi mape mini machu. Ke driver jimu wa work and pay. Wa malalo le hanye. Le nye maka chuni. Ike si oke yu ni silasiba. No fiyan no ko emana eno. Ya yo gladi. Oke si yo. Sege toilet ka ke pele nge mamu. It's unfortunate. Se nini made nye ji yo. Ke iba. Ma boye he mode. Ne mana toilet o eko ke tae hanye. Oke si yo. Nye nyo me umbe. Ide ke salami ka ha. Ang wonyu ke ma lo ke ba suwa magba ke ba nye kpo mpo mi. Se ni ni madene ji yo. Nye mana si ka yi yo me. Le nye maka chuni. Le ke nye mwome wo nye hopo wo. Nye mani ma le bi yo me. Ma wune e jomo. A short summary in English for us. Okay. She spoke about their water, their toilet facility, their health care in Bonnie Kope. What I want to assure her is that 
if I'm given the opportunity to become the MP for Sege constituency, I'm going to make sure that they get portable drinking water. Their toilet facility will be a thing of the past. Because I'm going to make sure they get toilet in that particular community. And she spoke about the healthcare. When you go to the cheap compound, they learn there is no medicine, they just write for you. I learned um, health insurance is not working. I'm going to do a follow up and see why their own bunny copy, their own uh, health center is not taking um, the free SHS, uh, as if we to get, what's the NHS. name? NHIS card. Why it's not working? Why uh, the free healthcare is not working, Bonnie Copy? I'll make sure I'll get to the bottom of this particular issue because it's very sad. You go and renew your card, you are sick, you go to the hospital and they write another medicine for you. So why the card? So I think I'm going to do that for them. She said something that the men don't have any job to do and I'm assuring the youth that I'm going to provide companies. I will lobby for companies. Watermelon Company uh, and Tomato Factory for them. So that anything they do, if you can't go to school, at least you have something to do. They will employ more youth in that particular sector. So in terms of jobs, I think Unislasi is ready to serve my people. And I'm going to provide them with jobs. She says, Sege, we don't have any toilet. We only have one toilet. I will make sure when I come to power, I will make sure we have about three toilet facilities in Sege to ease this pressure because it's too bad. He said our water is not flowing. I will make sure, you know, they are bringing the water from um, Mepe. From Mepe. They are doing extension. And I'm praying that they do it as fast as possible because my people are suffering. So we can share the water to them in their various hoods so that they will be very, very happy with our work. Thank you. Say, let's say. Say, let's say. Wow, we have a number of people who have questions to ask us. Uh, we are going to take about five questions, then she answers. So you can come for a patch of brain. Nabisa, your question. Ubebo, Dinawa, Webisa, the Obe. Yeah. My name is Enim Hosea Tete, coming from Sege, Sege here. Um, uh, what I want to ask, Madam Eunice Lassie, is that uh, we have uh, MPs who have come and gone, they came with promises. I used to call that empty promises because they made a promise and when they have voted into power, nothing is there to show. And I, so I want to ask her, is she also making her promises? Is she also making her promises so that when we vote for her with confidence, she will come and then do as the others are doing, or she is coming with vision for the people of Sege constituency to develop the constituency as she is saying, or she is saying it in her, with her mouth, uh, with the heart and the mind far away from what she is saying. This is my question. Thank you very much. Uh, let's have our next question. Okay, uh, my name is Moses Amoya Tete. And my first question is, uh, I want to ask Madam that uh, we are youth, and as you can see, I'm a, an Okada rider. So when she is voted into power, what she will do for us Okada guys to get work, or uh, what she'll be doing for us, for us to, um, as we can see, our road to Batotu is not good. And also, uh, our working condition here is not improving. So... Um, I want to ask her that what she'll be doing, because we want to vote for her, but we want to be sure that um, when she comes into power, she will not fail us. And my second question is that uh, many people want to vote for her, but I could hear some rumors that uh, she's an independent candidate. Um, they are thinking about how, when she comes, how she's going to cope with the president in power so that the constituency can grow. So I want her to expatiate how she's going to work with the president in power. Thank you. Interesting questions from the people of Sege, of the Sege constituency. Uh, we have uh, our mommy here wants to ask a question. Uh, mommy, you can ask. 
If you can bring the mic down for her. My patch will be some question. Celeste. 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 I am with that singer, you know. I chat me Antina, woman organizer. Nasa get for Paika, Gum Party. A Piamica, what clown are you in his last? He say, Say, Ingala, my be, mammy, you in his last, no cocky tea, Munu and your coca. Wang and way, can't a pessy defense. Nay, Ada. Wang and way, can't a penny and go pram pram. Okuja tonga modi opong eh me peke nene me na pio pio apo wa wo pati wa epio me anga ba na nga ya na nga ba nyu mo me ne wa neno kono ko pio e ya pe yo ne aka ne yo inji wo wa ke wa fi halaka nyese bene ma peneke e ba ne e ba je wa ka je kike ma pototo eno mi enyo ne wa na ka wa mami wa mami samu Got a clutching. Gina Bene Yaming and Neno, Yanga Ye. No, no, it's not your class, it's a ye can you. I will zoom lie up your melang and issue. I will make you. Like a cagame your oil. Gina Nichumio, I like a mammy macho. Nene, my ano fine. Colonel and my beer caca a banner. Mini a mape, cacono no mahe. Nezum lie on beer me abomajo. Nama chuni hama, catrimi. Yepeno. Thank you very much. Uh, let's take one more. My name is Emmanuel. My you name is on. Emmanuel. Yeah. Madam, I want to know your take on one issue that is a concern to me. Even though I know it is the mandate of the assembly, it's our inner road development. Inner road development. Now, where water will pass, people say that is their land. Where electricity will pass, people say that is their land. And there are clear demarcations where the roads are supposed to pass. People have encroached and blocked all those community roads in such a way that when there is fire now, fire service will not get any way to pass to rescue. I want to know, I know that is a mandate of the assembly. I want to know or know your take that when you become an MP, with the, with that, with the collaboration of the assembly, what will you do about that situation in this community? That's my question. Thank you very much. Okay, one last question, then we get answers. Hello. I have a question about the wisdom Agbashi. I have a question about the wisdom I have a question about the wisdom of because Nenema Heni Ibahi on Girl, in Nedja Machome, Ibahi on NDC, MPP, Ahi, Sendi Bahi on Atino Konoko, Ke Wakewa Maya Nawa Kopa and a Hio, NDC, Langanoye, Jaimiete, K. A. S. Eno, Jenone, I know an Ape Noko Noko Noko, Kehawa, MPP Ne Eba, Lawe Boy, Made. Le wa nu wa nye mi yuni si la si ke baka. E ba ye, e pi ha wone, no yamne e ba mi ye hiyo. Se wa nye mi me, ne ki, wa bi e pi pi bi no me ne akpeti wa ke, e di si bi no na akpeti wa e, jena o pati wa ke pe ka. Family no e di yo. A, 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 gu, kululu we le, a pale ye nye mi yon ge, jama blo e no. Kaka ne wa ni kome, ne wa he le wa nye jwen he je e jan. Wow, le wa paka wa nyemi you ok about that si kesi yo. Eba that si hawa because wa wa suon le. Wa wa suon le. Eba that si ke hawa. Ne wa fon so han le. Ne awo no pa pa ko ke ba man domi. Alo challenges ko ne ba man domi. Se wa nyemi MDC. Me la ka si ko na le ka kuo. Me akoi. Ka je yo ya po adan le ka kuo anoi. Wa bina na la no yami ewe je jan. A chake wa nyemi yu anan ba chake no me. A chake ke hawa. Kola inga la nema bi enye mi yuni si la si ke si yone. Ni inga deke, ne wa wa awe ke ba, ni inga deke ke e ye, a voti hala le ye mono ne. E maka ha e pipi, inga la ma bi a ke si yone. Ni nanga di yone, ni nda ilo. Madam yuni si la si, ke wa votu ke hamo, ka be ne wa chunga si yone wa awomo ke ba no. Ke wa nanon wa votu ke hamo le o, ka ha e pipi yo. 
Amen. Because when you meet people, you are not going to give us any. The end is the part of the fact that we are not going to give us any. 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 Oko woka ha MPP. Mochumi ke suebu. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, interpreting what Wisdom, who just spoke, said. And he says that, he asks that, uh, he, he came here for the NDC and the MPP, but he has not seen any of them. Wisdom, just so you know, we have thrown an open invite to all the other parties, and so it was up to them to be here. But this is woman manifesto, women's manifesto, and so that is why we have only Eunice Lassie here because she's the only uh, representative uh, for women who is contesting the parliamentary seat for the second constituency. But wisdom also says that the NDC has been in power for long here in this constituency but they have not seen any form of development, as others have said. He's also saying, he's asking Eunice that there's rumor out there that if she wins this parliamentary seat, she would run back to the new patriotic party. And if she does that, they would not be happy with her as constituents. And so she would have to answer that. Also to interpret what our mother adds earlier, she says she's a woman, woman's organizer for GUM, and she says that other MPs have been doing a lot of developmental projects in other constituencies, for instance, the sea defense projects in other constituencies, as well as the work that Honorable Okuja Tuablakwa has done in Mefe. She is saying uh, that she has not seen a lot of development here in the second constituencies, uh, in this constituency, despite the number of uh, MPs that have been here since 2004, what are you intending to do? She also spoke about payments of some workers here. They are not being paid. What do you intend to do? Okay, thank you very much. Um, I would like to answer this question. Um, one of my brothers said, MPs who come and go with big, big promises, but they don't deliver. That is why I said you've tried the men. Just try you this lassie for just one term and see what she has for you. Because if you don't give me the nod, you, know what I'm, you will not know what I'm capable of doing. So I said, just vote for Eunice Lassie. And when I come to office, I will work and you will attest to that fact. You will not be promised and fail. I will not be promised and fail because myself, I hate promise and fail. Yes. You abide by every promise you are making. I will make sure I abide by every promise. It is good. You know, um, my local manifesto is out there. It's a printout I've given to so many people. I've shared it across this constituency. If I'm to give you a manifesto or a local policy, if I come, I want to do this for you. I need definitely that after the elections or after my term of office, if I'm not able to do these things, you are going to question me. So I will not come and campaign based on somebody's character or destroy somebody's personality because I want you to vote for me. So you see my submission, I said I want to do this for you. Just vote for me. So after four years, I know I'm going to account for everything I've said. And I know I'll deliver. So if you ask me, Eunice Lassie is ready to fulfill all what she's saying. And I know how to go about that. Yes. Uh, Someone what are your plans for us, the Okada Riders and the youth? I have so many plans for you. Some of them want to continue their education. Some of them want to still be in the Okada business. So they need more bikes for their business. And I'm going to establish a scheme that will help them to get the Okada, the bike, on credit, that they can do work and pay. Aside that, I've been saying this. The youth, you have jobs to do. So if you ask me, Eunice, I'm not here to gamble with the development of Sege. I just asked for four years, just a term, and I'm going to deliver. So 
Um, somebody said, if you win, how will you work with the government? Uh, I am an independent candidate. Any government that wins this general election, I am forever ready to work with the government. Because the good people of Sega constituency voted for me. Both NDC, MPP, CPP, uh, Afafranto, Gum, everybody. If I win, I'll work. And everybody will know that Eunice Lassie is working. And any government that comes to power, I will, I will particularly tell all the ministers in those sectors that my people are part of Greater Accra and we are part of Ghana. So if they are developing, then my people should be remembered. I know in parliament, it's equal right. It's how you get your lobbying skills. Try to make sure that you are being fixed into the mid-year budget. So that I don't see any government coming to power and the government is going to deny you Nisilasi from developing this constituency. So what I know is when Unisilasi is being voted for as the MP for Sege constituency, any government that wins this election, I'm going to work with that party. Mm. Thank you very much. She spoke about the sea defense. I will make sure our sea defense... <laughs> I don't know what to say about sea defense. But what I want to ensure that my people just vote for me. If they are able to do for Adan and Ningo Pram Pram, they have a big question to answer. And I know for sure, I will lobby for the sea defense in Sege constituents. Yeah, that's what I want to tell. She said that our gutters are choked. They are blocked. The Zoom Lion workers are not being paid. And this particular issue is, is quite disturbing. The last time they came to me in my house, Madam, we want to embark on a demonstration. And I told them, demonstration will not solve the issue. I know some people's payment have been diverted to some people, and we are going to fish them out. You are working, and your number use in the system, they'll remove it and put their personal numbers. So when the payment is coming, you, you are not even getting anything. You don't do it. So some people have worked for three years without pay. Three good years. Three good years. I have the women. They came to my house. And when I'm being voted for, you need to say, you need to say, you need to say, Nekiba, hene mene nye payment ome ya troma aje mekpo because coach niyo, it's an honor he say. No ko beni chuen, nga zu mi layon. Nye no ko ma yini chuen nga different office, nye ma yin le si ka wo. Ima me shu akan regional directors ome yo. Abo mo na monitor offices ome yo. Ken no me na nge le jon. At least in every quarter, they should check them. People are working there, they are not receiving their payment. So if you ask you, Nis Lassi, I said, I'm going to monitor the system. And I know the system will work. The system will definitely work. Uh, my brother asked about the inner roads. Neni legio, inner roads on me. Assemble le chumwo yeni. Neko ye wa manom yon. Dimakeshin kwa kwa kobe mam. Lo wake assembly on machuni yunisilasi. I will make sure ka. I will liaise with the assembly for proper inner roads. Because sometimes you have a problem in your house. You need... Um, a car to just pick you from your house. But the road to the house is not there. Someone has just built in the railway on the road and said, this is my land. They don't have proper, proper, proper demarcation. And I think we are going to work on that. So the, the big men and the chiefs in the town, we want to plead with them. Before you sell land to people, you have to make sure you have good layout because it has become a problem for us in this constituency. And I'm going to work on that. Now, I guess you are your name. Will you join MPP? And if you do so, we will not be happy with you. That's a big question. Interesting question. Very, very interesting. Thank you very much, Brother Wisdom. And uh, what I want to say is that I am independent candidate. And I'll forever be independent candidate for my first term. When I finish with my service, I'm going to ask my people, where do you want me to go? So it's a decision of my people because they are voting for me. And they love me because I'm independent. They, they are voting for me, not because of any particular. So I'm going to take that decision or that advice from them. But for now, I'll still be an independent candidate for the first term in parliament. Well, well, Eunice, are you aware that in parliament you have to align with the party? And if so, Will you take that 
decision based on your people. And then they have to change it because I'm not going to align. You will not align? I will not align. So you'd rather not represent them in parliament? I will represent them, but you can't force me to align with a particular party. So what happens if GUM candidate wins? Will you tell the GUM candidate to go and align with a party because their president is not in power? It's a question. I'm also asking you a question. We have good well, candidates. I'll, I'll be doing the we have, for I'm now. coming. We have Bedi Aku candidates in the system. If he's lucky to have one representative in parliament, are you going to force the person to join NDC or MPP? Are you? Are they going to force the person to join? I am a party. I'm a candidate for this party. And only one seat. We secured only one seat. Are you pushing the person to join NDC or MPP? Will you do that? Will Bagbin or any other, uh, uh, what's the name? Any other person who becomes the head of parliament, will you tell the uh, CPP candidate to join NDC in parliament? Not necessarily to join. They so, Eunice Lassie, not necessarily to join. <laughs> I am independent candidate. Eunice Lassie, not mm. what? Not necessarily to join. To join yeah. <laughs> you are in that category. Yes. We see, we see. So Eunice says that she, she's not ready to align with any party in parliament. We see how that goes, uh, especially when uh, the, the issue is that there's a lot of wrangling in parliament and the Supreme Court. Uh, we are yet to know really what would happen in the coming days as long as parliament is concerned. But just so you know, Eunice Lassie contested on the ticket of the MPP in 2020. She won with 15,464 votes as against the current member of parliament for Sege constituency, Christian Kolete Otute, who won with 17,256 votes. Very close shave there as to whether or not she would be able to win the parliamentary seat for the Sege constituency in the upcoming December 7, 2024 elections. We're yet to find out. But we have a few more questions. Um, I think we're going to take our last batch of questions from you, and then we can wrap up. Henley, come forward so we can hear you well. Achami Frank Lampard. Achami Frank Lampard. Auto electrician. Fita Sinji Wanga Mami. So he, he, basically, Frank Lampard is asking, uh, he is an electrician, uh, they call themselves Fites over here. And I mean, that's a local parlance. He's an electrician, and he's asking what Ulysses Lassie will do for the electricians if she comes to power. Is that, are there any more questions? Okay, so clearly that's our last question for Eunice. Uh, the, uh, the public is asking you, what are you going to do for the electricians if you are given the Thank note? you very much. Okay, there is another last person. Okay, we have more, one more question. Uh, kindly hold on. Um, if the mic can be adjusted a bit for him. Right, Hello. you can ask. Yeah. I tell me, I don't go can see. Because I can't pick Jimmy. So I can't hear you, I can't hear you. 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 I can't hear you, I can Thank you very much. Um, he's asking, uh, his last question was basically about joblessness and unemployment and what policies that UNIS has for the constituents that will ensure that they are not jobless. He's also asking about teenage pregnancy, which I raised earlier with you as being one of the main issues in, or challenges in this constituency. And lastly, he talked about armed robbery, which many other constituents have raised already in the questioning. He's asking what Eunice intends to do 
if she's given the nod as the parliamentary candidate. So two question, uh, two people have asked questions. What do you have to say to them? Okay, thank you very much. Um, no, okay, a mechanic dealer, Chona. Le, a kema bika, ke iba mini ma peke hanye lo. Nening alan ma peanye, titriji, ingala mana suba agbohane, nene clanye wole joy. No, why, eh, why in mechanic village? Neke watesio, while a cacolo le puelo sulejon, wang a world as canyon ma, no fiano woke a signboard, wang a electrician kicking, and like a benenian ya pom pom to out on any canyon tune. If you a bear fell, can you call all about Massio? No, like a battery, and a safe. No, like a baby mirror here, and a he call you in his last key bar. What fits a somnage you are mechanic or mill, but my name mechanic village. Ne, ye loll your melon, you tumor mecla, a mahi legion, and your bonnet, a joe. This is the plan I have for you. No, what gets you? Call bar, meaning you tumor long, a caha, you to. You to let it a fool. It gets you a key bar. Your man of factory, and your machining. Monong and Anamaka say only in Yanutumio. Ingalan each electoral area, one of fifteen electoral areas. Wamai vocational training center. Vocational training center, and each electoral area. No, Chapi Waklan, Wamanya Maya School. Chapi Wakla, no one has canoe on Makayaka send it to me. Seco Selejon, Wamanya Maka say a flea, no mapemini, O my J, Neno Pao Maba, Loko Bimio, Lenini Madame Munga Eji Colony, no Cassio or Jumio a here. Em, Yanyami. Ke obe nutumi yon, le abusa ham mo nutumi, ne otun. Wa yuto me beko, i kwa he wa mi ke hame. Se ni ni nge deji yon, a piyan yu ni sila si se. Ne no nge la machun yon, o ni ne masu no, le o machun, le mo hun, o bwa majo. Wa yuto me nene nge me naka, a pe an robe so me yon. Nye ko piya me chon, a ke mi kli hon, le to o me nene ayape. Especially yuto me nge getu wa mi yon. O fi u kake no ko nge nutumi, ne e maja. La ete matu six o'clock. E manan de kaka ba nuwi lo. Bene je nutu mi kaba ne poto e no ba wasiyo. O manan de kama te two o'clock o ya ju noko. Kla e bow down to unemployment. Nini ngadi ejo ju ni sila si kiba. Ma bomo de ni ma o nutu mi kaba. Ke hiu amani makasi ani ne nyanu nutu mi. Ko ya district ko manaka ayuz common car tie. Kape chairs keni ne angejuwa. Ke wanyo wa woni ke balaba chon you tome o. Ke ngi nutu ya be juwe. I mean, many more things that I can't tell you. As for me, now, come on, Juno, my own, make our sales. Say, I'm a clean one, Eje. Long and legion. Your vote can't you need to last. Then you need to know. Then my baby can't hang you. Then you want it, Ejo. If you can kindly briefly summarize these okay. answers in English. Okay. Um, our artisans are asking what I want to do for them, or what I would like to do for them if I'm being voted for. And I said I want to build a mechanic village for them, so that yes, we we'll get a big land. Get a mechanic village so that when somebody comes to park his car at your shop and you are not able to finish, no arm robber will come and steal battery or remove a light or something. They need to be secure with their jobs. And that is what they wanted all these years. And I know. And I'm promising them that I'm going to make sure they have a mechanic village so that their work will also be competitive. Yes. Somebody asked about the youth, plans I have for the youth. And I said, Unislasi says, if I'm being voted for, I'm going to make sure our youth get work to do. Because if they don't have any work to do, that is where they will think of robbery. But if you go to work from 5 a.m. or 6 a.m., how will you come back to smoke or steal someone? You close around 10 or 8 o'clock, you, you are even tired. Where will you go? You sleep. And all boil down to unemployment. And I'm going to make sure that the youth, everybody gets something to do. I assure them that um, if Unislasi becomes the MP for Sege constituency, we will have um, electoral area. We will have, uh, what's the name? Free vocational training center. At least each electoral area, we have 15 electoral areas. If we are able to give 50, 50 youth free training in hairdressing, sewing, I think they'll be fine. So I said in each electoral area, I'm going to make sure we have a vocational training center because we are all not going to the classroom. Not all of us have the mentality or that wisdom to learn. So we should help them in a way. So if you ask me, this is my answer for them. Thank you very much. Great. Now, 
Uh, we have a short video that uh, Eunice Lassie wants to play. You can see on your screens currently. We're going to play this video shortly, and then Eunice is going to address this for us. So, Eunice, uh, we, we are seeing uh, the sea, basically. Uh, it seems that the cameras, they are sitting on a canoe. Tell us about this video. Um, this is Aklabaja. This is how bad our situation is. And, and what is causing this? The sea. Because we don't have the sea defense. The sea is taking over the whole community. And, you know, we have Goy from... Um, Kablevu, Pati Chekope, Lolonya, Goi, Anyamam, Aklabanya, Wokumagbe. This is what they go through. Wow. So if I'm talking about sea defense, I know what I'm talking about. So if they are voters, and after all this, nothing has been done about it, and you ask them to go and vote, what do you think they, they, they will tell you? You go there, vote for me, vote for me. This is what they expect you to do. You have so, to. so you intend on uh, constructing a sea defense project? Yes, I have to lobby that people. for them. If they can do it for Ningo Pram Pram, Sege, we should have our share. Because we are all voters. And we are all citizens of Ghana. And we are part of Greater Accra. So if it's a national cake, and we are not getting our part, I don't think Akrabanya should vote this year. Yes. Mm. I don't think we, Akrabanya should vote. Yes. But, 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 but that, that wouldn't be too, too good to tell them not to vote? Uh, or, or you are, the population in Akulabanya well. is close to 7,000. And you, you think they shouldn't vote? Why should they vote? You would need that to win if you, if you really want to win this party. Don't worry about me. <laughs> they shouldn't vote for any president if they are not ready to solve this problem. Mm. So you are talking about presidency? Yes. I see. Because if Aklabanya is like this, and you are expecting the people to vote, and they've been voting 32 years now, and the sea is disturbing them like this, what do you think these people will feel? How would they feel? What would they say? It's painful. But what I want to tell them is that Unislasi is here to speak for them. Unislasi is here to take their cry to any government that wins the seat or this election. So if NDC is to win this general election, please be ready for me because Unislasi is going to lobby for the sea defense. If MPP is to win these elections, be ready that Unislasi is coming to parliament to fight for the good people of Sege constituency. If this work is not done in my first term in office, I swear to God, I can say this. We will not do politics in Sege Constituent. No political party will come and campaign. And I'm going to front that demonstration. Wow. Wow. I am yeah. not here. I am not here because I want to enrich myself. I am here because of the people. And I can't do this alone. That is why they are, they are sending me to parliament. So if I come and you cannot do sea defense for my people, and you take taxes from them, then I don't see why your party flag should be in Sege Constituency. Eunice, yes, my dear. We are wrapping up right now. Mm -hmm. The last thing I'd like you to do is to pledge to the people of the Sege constituency. If they are to give you the nod and you have the chance of winning the parliamentary seat mm -hmm. for the Sege constituency, pledge to them that everything you have said right here on this grounds today. Right here on TV3, you will do it. Thank you very much. The good people of Seve Constituency, what I want to tell you is that just vote for Eunice Lassie, and all what I'm saying, I'm going to do it for you. I said, help me to solve your sea defense, your roads, your portable water, your education, your health uh, um, situation. I have to make sure, or I have to... I have to stand on my grounds and make sure that any minister that I will need you in my constituency be ready for me in any party that wins because the taxpayers' money 
you are being paid with. So if you are in your office and you are sharing, Sege should be part of it. And not to forget that my good people who are farmers, what I want to assure them is that I will lobby for a district tractor for them because it's very painful. I always pray that farmers in Sege constituency shouldn't embark on demonstration. Imagine the whole country. Farmers are like, okay, this year we are not going to farm. What do you think will happen to us? I'm asking you. <laughs> I'm what doing the asking today. Sorry? I'm the one doing the asking today. No, I want to just this question. Oh, this if farmers thing. are to go on strike, what will happen to us? Definitely, we're not going to have enough food yet. So the government should just take good care of farmers. The agriculture sector should be taken good care of. Any constituency that we have farmers, the farming constituency, they should make sure they have adequate machines for farming so that we don't lack food. Because when we talk about economy, you will not know the right economy unless you go to the market. That is where you know the right economic situation in Ghana. So I'm pleading to the good people of Ghana, the government, the going and the coming ones, please, let's not forget our farmers. And I want to lobby for a tractor for them. So good people of Sege, Nini Ganyede Gio, Nye Vo Tuke Hami, Ne Yuni Silasi, Malas Kaba Yio, Mene Akechuni, Ne Ma Bo Modine Artisan, So Nye Nanye No, Wo Yali Nana A Primis, Si Defense, So Wani Nene Suno, Suku Biyo Me Nana Suku Kwakpana Ya, Wa Health Sector, Neji, Wa Kache Le Pokeo, Wa He Wa Mina Mi Hiyo Me, Wa Na Nessis Kwakpana Yine Aba Ya Wano, Wa Security Services So Me, Es Ano Wa Support, Wa Police Biyo Me, With Good, Ni Na Ki, with good logistics, the security service must be provided with good logistics mm. to monitor this particular constituency. At least, at least, if they have 10, 10 motorbikes, huh, they can zone this constituency. And the police people will be assigned to these zones. Every night they will be doing patrol. This constituency will have rest. All they need to work with is logistics, which I'm going to make sure... I provide some for them to do a good job. Thank you very much. Mother for all. <laughs> uh, she says she's the mother for all. We've been speaking to Eunice Lassie. Uh, she is contesting on, as an independent candidate for the parliamentary seat right here in the Sege constituency. All too soon. We've come to the end of this episode of Women's Manifesto. We'd like to say a very big thank you to all the constituents that have joined us here today for this edition. And we know that Women's Manifesto is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office. My name is Judith Brown. I'm glad to have done this with you today. Stay tuned for the rest of our programs. <laughs>